I can see right now I'm going to have a problem knowing where to look. It's been a while. Huh. <laughs> want to see a little bit of me straightening up my craft room. This is in fact the basement in our house and I have a lot of room to spread out and my husband doesn't say too much about my junk down here so that's a good thing. I thrift a lot so I have a lot of junk back there. Um, everything has potential. I'm going to give it new life. So it's just there for now until I decide to pull the stuff out and start working with it. I have my craft stuff on this side like my stickers and shelves and ribbons and stuff over on that side as you've probably seen and then on the other side is where I have my paints and fabrics and stuff like that and some, some little cubbies over there I got that fixed up there's a table over there that I can use my computer on when I'm downstairs for voiceovers and such when I need to generally I do that upstairs and then over here I have my rolling shelf and it's got my glue and the tools that I grab regularly right here and then another shelf beside me and then I have a table here and I have my if you saw that footage of me cleaning the room I have my speaker over here on the side that I plug my iPad into so I can listen to music it helps me when I'm crafting since I'm right-handed this is convenient because Everything is pretty much to the right, except for the little tools and the caddy over here because I couldn't fit it all in one spot. I'm limited in this basement on space, even though it looks like a huge area, because there are built-in cabinet bed type things down here. This was, as my husband refers to it, a party house when it was built. So there is storage and things like that that kind of get in the way and it can't be moved so I have to work around it which is why I have things set up the way I have it set up in fact I'll show you what I'm talking about over here so if you see right here this is uh, this is a bed 
this is a bed and underneath this mattress is um, store planks that you can pull up and there's storage underneath there I keep my seasonal lots of my seasonal decor definitely not all of it because I have a bunch and then so I just took a door that we had taken off the office upstairs and I used the door because it fit on top of the the edge right here that both ends have like a ledge and then see back there is another one of the beds but that fit on the ledge so that's that and then I just used the, sh the room underneath here to put some bins that probably came from Dar from Target but I got those at Dirt Cheap a long time ago so I used those underneath here they fit perfectly and these are boxes that came from uh, Cracker Barrel when we ordered Thanksgiving and New Year's I think meals I just turned those boxes inside out it's perfect the other side has got designs on it but these are just turned inside out and now you got the solid cardboard look so it looks fine uh, and then I have up here these little shelving units and I have it on both sides over there and they're full of all kinds of supplies and then the shelf that's in the second um, here that's got ribbons and strings and cords and raffia on it that is usually changed out with the season um, I take out things that are for instance summertime I'll take the summer and spring related stuff out when I switch out to fall and I'll put my things there that I use most of the time in there so I can grab them easily and these are some things I need to put away I've got some wood pieces and spindles and things like that in there um, yeah so it's organized and then I just put some a couple little things on the wall to pretty it up you can see I have a wreath with a little do your thing you got this a little motivation for myself and then over there on that side you can't really see it but there's a burlap round wreath over there that wall back there is my flower wall yes yeah, lots of flowers and lots of um, Dollar Tree and Thrifted Greenery over there on that wall. If that's something that you want to see, I can do a different video and show you how I set up my, you know, how I keep my florals and my greenery back there. And then the, there's a deer head on the wall. Oh, God. Okay, I came from a family of hunters, and I also married a man who likes to hunt. So, but anyway, and then I have some more stuff set up behind me. Back there is a big table that belongs to my brother-in-law and I just have my my baskets and things set up on there and then underneath because I needed the storage space for the junk that I mentioned before that's underneath there it is organized though um, I have a picnic basket down there that has all of my um, like smaller candelabras smaller candle holders and things like that so it's full of that i have a box down there that is full of organizational things i have a box that has um like command strips and hooks and things the types of tools that you would need to hang decor with that's down there uh, picture hanging kits and things like that and then i have um a basket down there that has things that need to be painted that I had ideas that I wanted to paint them um, before I use those in projects so that is down there and I have those back there it is <laughs> back there the cardboard and the foam board and little scraps of cardboard I keep all that stuff out of calendars and things where you get that extra slip of cardboard paper you know to to support and keep your things from bending I keep those because they're good to use for painting on and they're also good for backing for projects when you want to clean your projects up the trunks over there just have some um, like the Dollar Tree storage containers and bins that I'm not using right now they're in there and then that trunk underneath has some bedding for when we have company and people need to stay down in this room that's what's in there and if you notice on the side see I'm trying to explain away all of the junk so if you look over there there you go sorry about that glare and if you look over there 
there is a lot of bins, little containers with things in them. Those are projects that I'm working on or that I've had ideas to do, and I've put those supplies together so that I can work on those um, next in line, things that I already have ideas for. So, yeah, I have big lights uh, right here behind, behind my table, and then you can see that I have uh, like a basement or garage style lights that are over on the side and that's because the wiring in this house it's a wood house so we have a bit of a squirrel issue and they like to eat electrical things so uh, as far as we know no fire hazard so far but somehow or another there's a short or some problem somewhere and we don't have electricity in the basement on one side anyway well that's what I'm dealing with right now I thought it would be nice to put my face on here so that you can put a face with a name and that you know who is doing the crafting when you see the videos. Because most of the time, in fact I think all the time, my videos are done overlooking my table. I just feel like that format is easier to understand. It is for me. If it's not for you, then feel free to comment below. Would you like to see me doing the craft? Would you like me? Because I can definitely play with the camera setup and do it where you can see me, but if you see me more, then you're gonna miss the shot of what I'm actually doing. So I don't feel like that's very helpful to you, but whatever works out for the majority of people who subscribe, then that is fine with me. I'm open to suggestion. But I think that's about all I have to show you right now. If you specifically see any areas or anything, like a, the flowers over there if you want, to see that, I can do a video on that. If you want me to do a showing of my baskets, I can do that. There's also a closet that is back there in the corner that you can't quite see. The one with the wreath on it back there. That closet is full of frames and extra supplies that I have because when I get it thrifted, I get it really cheap then I'm going to go ahead and get it so I don't have to pay full price for it. So I have a surplus, rather, back there in that closet. If you want to see it, let me know. We can do a closet tour. But yeah, um, the other half of the room, I don't feel that you really will benefit from seeing because it is my children's craft table, all of their junk. It is a bit of a mess over there. I have my corner where I keep my... I always make donations when I bring things in. I bring, I take stuff out, so... I have a corner over there that I put boxes and bags for things that I'm getting rid of. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've got. It's very nice to meet you all. Again, my name is Brandy. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, if you want to see my other videos, I've got lots of playlists. Just subscribe. And then every time I put out new content as well, you will get notifications. So be sure when you click that little bell that you, there's like three options. Be sure you click the one on the top with the little quotes around it because that is going to show you every notification. Otherwise, you won't get them all. And you'll be wondering what happened to the last video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up for putting my face out there for the whole world to see. And I'll try to do this again really soon. Bye!